Hi guys, it's Savage Edges, aka Savage, aka Vibe with Savage, and I'm back with another video. <laughs> talk about toxic relationships and friendships since the start of quarantine and now i'm ready to do it i talk to y'all on group chats on house party on my story i ask y'all and y'all have some serious questions so let's get into it the first question was how do i even spot a toxic person if you see um people like doing weird stuff like insulting you for no reason um bashing you in front of boys um if she talks about you if she talks shit about you then lie then if you find out she be like oh my god i'm so sorry then if she like has issues with beating you like she would legit beat you and then or like slap you or like hit you and you are like what's going on <laughs> if you have if you have this you already know she has some issues if you do a joke she's not laughing it she is like off she is your friend but she is off and that's how you spot a toxic person you spot a toxic person if you see her she's not supportive she talks about you um behind your back she is never here for you she's always busy doing shit but when she is sad she will call you this is toxic in my eyes then um if she is not supporting you if she can go on three weeks or like two weeks not calling you and then all of a sudden she calls you and she is crying on the phone like bitch do not call my phone if she has a boyfriend and forgets all about you this is like signs of toxicity toxic traits everybody has toxic traits i have toxic traits i have moments where i'm literally like toxic but i'm not legit toxic like i'm not a toxic person i have traits and moves that are toxic for other people so um yeah if she like moves toxic if she does shit that you in your eyes if you see that okay this is not okay why is she telling everybody my secrets why is she doing this side and the other and she comes to you and start crying be like oh my god i'm so sorry you're my best friend oh my god i am so sorry oh my god and you forgive her and you forgive her and you forgive her and you forgive her she knows how to control you so toxic people are controlling manipulative did i say it right whatever <laughs> manipulate manipul whatever <laughs> okay toxic people they know how to play with your freelance they know how to get in your head they know how to do shit that make you feel bad at the end of the day they know how to twist your words they know how to they know how to do everything they twist everything they do everything okay that's how you spot a toxic person so if you are at home watching this video and you are thinking okay this girl she's doing this that 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 everything that she said you already know she is toxic let's go on and talk about how to leave a toxic friendship okay leaving a toxic friendship is the hardest part of leaving and of everything of the whole friendship because somehow Toxic people are the people that you love the most. You love them with the bottom of your heart. Even though you know she is or he is not good for you. Okay, so let me tell y'all how I left my toxic friendship. Okay, so I realized one day I was talking to my friends all day about this girl. Really like I was talking to her to my friends and i was always like girl why is she doing this like girl why is she doing that like girl why is she doing this and then one time i was like look 
Abby, you know, you do not need her to get where you want to get. You don't need her to get to your goals. You do not need her to get to, to your destiny, to what God created for you. You don't need her. You know she was in your life. You now know how to you, how to spot a toxic person. You now know how to handle a toxic person. And now it's time for you to leave the friendship. I was like this. I don't know exactly what happened. So please do not take me by my word. Please don't think I'm throwing shade because I'm really not. I'm just telling this story for the people that want to know. One day I just realized, I was like, look, no, she is not it. She is not the tea. Her tea is cold. I do not want her no more. I need new stuff, new friends, new environment, new people, new everything, okay? So what I did was, <laughs> what I did was, um, I think I... I think we, see, we, me and her, we was not going out, was not doing stuff, was not, like, connected to each other, but somehow we were still very close at the end, I think, I guess. So, one day, I think I did a Q&A on Snapchat, it called Telonym or something, and a lot of people asked me, like, why are you not friends with this girl? Are you still friends with her? Are you still friends with her? And I was like, boohoo, was telling her, telling the people, like, no. So she saw it. I think she didn't even have me on Snapchat because we, every time we was beefing, we would block each other. So um, somehow she saw it and then she did a Q&A and she made it seem like I was the bad person, which I'm not. So we was communicating on WhatsApp. We had our little argument, our little beef. And then I think we, like, we was on the phone and I told her, look, I do not want to be friends with you no more. She was like, I don't even know what I did and da 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 And I was like, sis, you did. And the list goes on and on and on. <laughs> and then I was like, girl, me and you, it's over. It's over. I don't know. I don't I don't want to be your friend. I'm not your sister. I'm not your friend. We are done and said, okay? The tea is gone, okay? We are not friends. I don't know. want to be your friend. You are toxic. And that's exactly what I said. I told her, look, you are toxic to me. You did things in the past that I cannot forgive you for well now i forgave her for it obviously but back then i could not like no you did too much shit like no so i left it there and we had like the end of our phone call it was the end of the conversation was so cool it was like talking about past i think series and shit so we had a real cool casual no beef no nothing okay and that's how i left this is simple as that like i left it like this but you see people had it have it more complicated because um the toxic person knows that you want to leave you want you don't want to be with her or him you don't want to be associated with her you can they can feel your distance so they they do stuff like hey can i come to your birthday party like this is what happened to me like me and her was not in contact and she was like can i come to your birthday party and yeah she's coming to your birthday party and my friends were like because my friends knew what's was up so my friends was like Ugh, and i was like Ugh, but then i was like you know whatever and then she came and she was toxic all over again my friends spotted it my friends clocked it they actually one friend she told me she saw me doing shit that she told me to do like give me like give my food to her to the toxic person so um she was like girl like you was really in that mind state 
from the past. And I was like, shit, like my birthday is like in ruin, but it was chill as well. So I was like, I was not too mad, but it was like, why are you coming to my birthday party? Who is not invited? But it's okay. <laughs> but it's okay. They will do shit like that. They would like come close to you, like, hey, what's up? What are you doing? What are you doing? And they'd be like, no, like, we're not beefing. Like, I mean, shit, like, we just associated, right? And then if you go outside with them, or like if you see her or him, they would um, do the same shit as like insult you in front of other people, embarrass you, all that stuff. And you already know, you just need to leave that hoe. Like, you leave her, like, leave her alone. Like, you need to dip. Like, do you know what I mean? Dip and get new friends because my friends most of my friends do not hang with her they speak with her they say hi but we are not like associated with her too too bad so it's like it's cool and yeah it's just like chill it's like just get yourself new friends new goals new everything new environment okay so yeah, that's that's how I left it. That's how I left the toxic friendship. So, in a toxic relationship, like, because a lot of y'all was also telling me that y'all have a toxic, like, toxic boyfriends that would often, like, touch you or, or like, push you or, like, be controlling. And for me, to be honest... It's so hard to leave a toxic relationship than a toxic friendship. You see what I'm saying? Because toxic relationship is like, y'all was really involved. Y'all was involved. Y'all had love. Y'all made love. Y'all did everything together. And then it's like, they just change and flip personality. So it's just like, what the fuck? Like, who are you? Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's not funny, but it's like, y'all know what I mean? It's like, who are you? Like, what? Like, this is not the person that I fell in love with. You get what I'm saying? So, if you see and feel that you're not loving this person, please make sure you tell your friends. Because a lot of a lot of you guys just be silent. Y'all be silent. And y'all do not tell y'all's friends what's really going on. So... If you feel like, okay, look, he is touching me. He is slapping me. He don't let me out. He doesn't support me at all. He is toxic. He is controlling. He wants everything how he wants it. He wants you to be his robot. Then you got to tell your friends because your friends can help you. You are not alone. Tell your mom. Tell whoever you trust tell your friends tell somebody somebody because toxic relationship really can really end bad like like boys i don't want to clock boys but some of some of them are really like dominant and if they want something like you're not giving it they turn <laughs> they turn into legit monsters and you be like whoa like what is going on with you like who are you like what are you doing why are you um forcing me to sleep with you like guys are like really if they don't get what they want they will make a way to get to that point okay so if you are in that environment please talk to people and slowly leave the relationship i would if i had if i was in a situation like this i would go eat with him in a public environment like let's say in a restaurant <clears throat> and then i would have friends in the same restaurant so if something would happen my friends could jump in and i would oh my god this is a master plan like whoa <laughs> This is a master plan. But nah, I would do that legit. Like, I would call my friends and be like, girl, sit on table 8 and 20, and I'm on table 5. So if something happens, I'm going to, like, text you or, like, look at you or, like, do this or, like, do a sign so y'all can't come in. And if you are in this restaurant or wherever you are, 
just tell him, look, you don't feel comfortable. You don't want to be with him no more. And that's it. If, the, if he follows you, if he does shit, call the police. Like, to be honest, I cannot tell you guys more. Because I was never in a toxic relationship. I don't know how to... Exactly, I don't know how to speak on that really. I just know from what people told me, from what you guys told me, um, this is how I feel, how I would handle. Um, but yeah, I think we wrapped this up. I hope y'all liked the video. I hope I could give y'all as much information that y'all need to leave the toxic whatever it is what do y'all want me to talk about like do y'all want me to do girls talks and like girl chats and shit if y'all want me to do that drop it in the comment section if you have toxic stories that you want to share you can share it and put it in the comment section as well so we can educate all of us um because at the end of the day it's mostly like girls going through shit like that I don't want to say, like, boys are not going through shit. But, I mean, like, girls are also going through shit like that. So, if you want to help the people that really need that, please feel free to bombard the comment section and tell your story. Um, And if you see the video and if you are at the end, you know this video came from God and you need to leave the friendship or the relationship. Please do it. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel for more talks, for more videos, and hair tutorials soon on my YouTube channel. If you like this chain, if you see it and you are like, yes, sis, I want to get it. Um, this chain is from Savages Lab, my business. So if you also want to start a business and you want me to start, you want me to talk about business, drop it in the comment section, sis. Drop everything in the comment section. I'll go read it. If you are interested in this lip gloss, it is the Pineapple Flav Lip Gloss from Savages Lab as well. Actually, my hair is not green. I just realized it. My hair is not green. It's blue. And I got the hair wax from Deer Bell. I will put it in the description box below. So if you want to get it, you can get it. It's only $8, I think so. So, yeah. Okay, I'm currently editing this video. And I just wanted to tell y'all that y'all should stay at home. I hope y'all are safe. I hope y'all are at home watching Netflix, doing everything. Please, uh, Stay at home, y'all. Listen to the government. I know it sounds pity, it sounds trash, but please listen to the government. As you can see, the earth is breathing after a long time. The earth is recovering um, of our damage that we did. We are actually the virus. Like, we are the sin to earth. So please just listen and don't go out. Don't make it any worse. So yeah, peace. Bye. I love you guys. Peace. See you next time. Bye.